Hi everyone, this is Pierrick from P2 Design. In this short video, I will show you how to output a decent uh, specularity pass uh, from cycles. So I'm currently working on the uh, character and I'm oftenly uh, making a lot of post-production on every of my artworks currently. But the problem is that Cycles allow you to output a lot of passes, but it doesn't allow you to output a decent specular map, which is uh, very useful whenever you want to highlight some of your character details or your environment details, or even add a bloom effect to your artwork. And if we take a look at the glossy direct pass, it does look like a uh, pure metal or something like this, including your roughness effect. But there is no balance. I mean, there is the shadow, stuff like this, but this is the direct lightning and you can't play with this to create this bloom effect or highlight details very easily. And our beloved Fresnel effect is absent from this uh, pass. So this is a problem. So I will show you two ways to output a pretty nice specular map. One which is, I, I think, the most relevant, but which will cause you to have to render uh, two times the same scene. And another one which is using post-production. It's less accurate, but it uh, allows you to save a lot of time. Uh, I also wish to thanks and give a big thanks to Denis, Anthony, Cody and Omar for their input on this uh, very problem uh, which allow me to, to make this uh, short video. The first method is very simple but it's a bit long depending on how much shader you have in your scene and it will force you to have another render pass. Here I have my skin shader for example and most of the time when you create a shader, you won't have 10 glossy nodes. The worth, in the worst case, you will have maybe three or four of them and uh, they will be added or mixed along the way. So what you have to do is to mix those with a pure diffuse uh, black shader. So I will add a diffuse shader with a pure black. In my case, all my glossiness is here. And here is my subsurface scattering. We don't care. So I will plug my pure black here and also plug my normals here. And now here I have a nice specular map. Okay, but the problem is that I will have to do this for all my shaders. So if I uh, enable this, now I will have to do the same on this object, control V, burn. So you see it's a pretty long process, pretty annoying, but it will allow you to output the most um, accurate specular map currently. That you, you won't be able to, to make a, a better one than doing this way, or I, don't, I haven't found any way to do it uh, betterly. So what you can do to make the process easier in a, in a way is to create a new scene and make a full copy of it. Then in this uh, second scene, it's to uh, create, duplicate all your shaders. Uh, so they are already uh, duplicated here and change uh, the properties, add your, your pure diffuse black here and then in your layer setting where you save all of your passes you can duplicate this select the scene one only output uh, the combine you don't need to to output everything and this image here will be your specular map we will uh, use those in the second part but here you are Okay, and I have my specular map here that will be saved as a combined pass. So the second method using post-production is pretty, uh, I will say, simple, even <laughs> if it took me a while to understand this and uh, with the help of uh, my flaws. So 
we will use the, uh, the glossy direct path and uh, what we want is to use uh, the value of this map to drive what we will see or not and you have to do this in Blender because from your raw render here in the passes there are more information that are uh, done in the file you will output unless you will output uh, EXR or HDR map but if you output a PNG like I do uh, you will lose uh, those information. So what I have done here is I have used uh, this map value which is in vector map value and plug in my glossy direct here. So here is my uh, glossy direct value and now playing with those I can decrease the global exposition and here play with uh, the offset. Then I use this to mix my glossy direct pass, this value here, with a pure black. And you can see that it has already separated my uh, pure glossy here, here the pure glossy, here on mixed with the with this map value. So now I can play here for the overall exposition and here to reduce the value of the highlights. All right. But the problem is that here I don't have my specular color. So you will need to mix this color, mix color again with your glossy color which is here. All right, so let's mix it. And we will use, I think, color here. And now you can see my specular map is inheriting the color of my glossy color. So you can play with the, the label here, absolutely no influence and a bit of influence. So to be close to what a specular map will output you, you have to put this pretty high, maybe at the maximum, I believe, because on your uh, pure glossy direct path, you do have the influence of the colors of the light you are using here. You can see I have used some warm tone while the overall lightning is pretty cold, but here it's a, a bit yellowish. So adding this uh, color information will output you a nice specular map and you can play with those values. The problem with this method is that the specular map that will be outputted will have the same exposition and same values for both my skin here and uh, this fabric shader or this laser shader. I don't have specific uh, values and also I'm losing uh, the Fresnel effect I have inputted. So it's not super accurate, but it's uh, way better than pure glossy direct pass because it doesn't look like pure metal. And also you won't be able again, I say it again, but you won't be able to get to this result directly in Photoshop, for example, because you won't have all those value information that are included in, in the pixels here and that will be lost and converted into PNGs. To add a Fresnel effect, what we can do is play with this normal map here, this normal pass, sorry, here. So you just have to use a converter separate RGB and you will have the value of the rays pointing from the right, the left and the bottom here, from the right, the bottom, sorry, and the left and, and I here. So then you add a color ramp and here I can change the, the Fresnel effect in a way of the blue channel, duplicate this, the green and mix those with a color mix yep, set to screen. So now I can uh, add more or less uh, 
income from the different uh, angles of the light. And then you can add a simple multiply node here and combine what you have done before using a color mix with pure black. So now with this multiply node, I can uh, lower the effect uh, of the, the Fresnel or increase it. And I can uh, change the Fresnel income here, for example. But again, this will work on uh, the wall materials that are in your scene. So that's great, but that's not perfect. But here I have a, a good end on directional lightning to create a specular map. And just think to plug this into your file output and set it to whatever you want. So I have created a specular output and it saved this result in a PNG file.